Who's that's the name? Listen, yeah. you, uh, you, know, just you guys were young last yeah. year, younger again this year. Uh, does it feel like this is more of Coach Dooley's team because there's more guys that have played with him one year and guys that he recruited? Does it feel more like his team than it was last year? Or do you even notice anything? Uh, I think the same way as last year. I think they're like a few people now. I think that uh, got more Are you excited about the prospects of this offense? Getting confident with the receivers, the offensive line, and the equivalent of the right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, we got a lot of talent coming in. We had a lot of talent last year before that. So uh, it should be really exciting to see how we take ourselves into it. And having a year under your belt, that should be how that should be. Yeah, I know what to do and what not to do, so pretty much. I see I see them working hard every day. Uh, they're like battling for, for the spot, so um, I'm really really impressed with what they did in the spring. What change I'm sorry, what changes do you see in Tyler from last year to through the spring and summer? He's more he's more comfortable with that, so he trusts me. You seem pretty comfortable and relaxed anyway. <laughs> Bigger and stronger, yeah, you know, I work out with him, so I see him in this room. You go where you work? Nah. He's here. So you told him. Yeah, he's supposed to talk. Now let's talk a little bit about the offensive line and some of the young guys that have come in and how good you think the unit can do. Well, um, I know with Antonio and Posey, they all they came a long way, like they had to lose a little weight and, and get a little bigger. and. They, they, them two, I know they, they really came a long way, and um, that <clears throat> just the offensive, the unit together as a whole is going. I think we're going to really, get, really do some things this year as far as moving the ball down the field and stuff. Now it's not just for Justin. But, I mean, how much better prepared are you going into this season because of all that you experienced last year, the first four years as a starter? Plus having the same coaching staff back, so we know what they expect from the start camp tomorrow. Well, that's, that's going to be a, uh, that's a plus right there for me. I'm looking at that. Like, I'm, I'm too excited for that because I, I know what to expect and all that. And I know what Coach Dooley wants, Coach Ethan wants out of us. And we just going to give it to them, give it to them what they want. Do you guys like the idea of morning practices come school time? Mm -hmm. I think I think I think it'll grow, it'll grow on us because then you know once you get practice out the way, you get to focus on more of your books then, you know. So I think you know I think it's gonna grow on us. What well, time's that alarm gonna have to go off? Six. Nah, you have to go earlier than that. Bro. <laughs> yeah, Alex, you're not concerned that you might be too tired to study. Nah, I've been I've been here too long, so I just gotta I gotta go ahead and grind it out and get the job done. Listen, you don't sound too crazy about that idea. I know, it's, I know it's gonna kill me the first couple of weeks, so I, I'll be used to it. Have you ever anywhere done early practices like this before? Uh, back in high school, we did it like, like three days, I think. And after that, we went in the afternoon because everybody can handle it. Dallas, uh, what do you expect to be different going into this fall camp when you, with having the same complete coaching staff compared to last year and the year before? For one, the temperature. <laughs> But um, I think um, I don't think it, I think the intensity is going to be a little uh, way more than what it was last year because just just off the fact that we know what he wants and he knows that we know what he wants, so this is going to be he's going to push us a lot harder this year. But you don't necessarily have to get you. I mean, like you said, what he wants, you know what his expectations are. So now it's just it's all about getting improvement. Yeah, so it's about improvement and motivating everybody else. Now that you mentioned the temperature, Coach Dilley doesn't seem to be a guy that's that compassionate about weather conditions as it applies to you guys. I mean, he won't. He doesn't look at that as an excuse, does he? No, no, not at all. Well, like I'm from the south, so temperature that's, that's nothing to me. I just got I just got back home. It was like 107 on the average, so I'm I'm gonna be I'm gonna be okay, man. And I'm just gonna keep pulling my teammates. They struggling with the heat a little bit. I'm just I'm gonna throw a water bottle and keep moving. <laughs> Coach said he'd like to see you guys more of a player-run team instead of a coach-led team. Do you kind of see that growth over the summer that you guys are becoming more leaders instead of relying on coach for everything? Um, yeah, because I know when we did our 707 and stuff, like I know Matt 
he he wrote the scripts himself, like all the plays himself and all that. And I, and I like, okay, I, like, I see the improvement that's coming in right there that he's going to be a, a leader for us, too. Now, it's with all those, those young guys around you. I know you already talked about them a little bit. Are there any, uh, some kind of connection between you? Are you the old guy? Do they call you the old guy or the veteran or any nicknames there? Yeah, they, I'm, the, I'm the old guy, but um, I, I haven't got a nickname yet. You usually get nicknames too once you get on the field. Something funny happens on the field that, that just, is just crazy, but... Everybody, like, they come for me for things, and sometimes I come at them for asking them questions. So it's like we all just pulling together, working there as a unit. Justin, what kind of progress have you and Derek made since the spring uh, in terms of not only like, physically, but also in terms of getting you know everything down, becoming more all around our seasons? Basically, our leadership since we have been rising. So we have to teach them what he's taught us. So basically, that is just keeping our head in the game. So oh. I'm saying, how much of that, you know, having Gerald Daenerys and those guys last year kind of did the same for y'all help you guys do that? Well, they made it real clear for us when they had one more year, so the next year they weren't going to be here, so it's up to me and the Rick for the team, basically, the receivers. Justin, you made the most of your catches last year in the end zone. Just talk about how you want to maybe um, become maybe a little bit more versatile as a receiver or what you want to do this year uh, to build on what you accomplished last year as a receiver. Um, I just don't want to be a deep ball guy. I just want to be a catch balls across the middle, slants, and comebacks like that. Because I know everybody's going to try to stop a deep ball, so it's going to have to be something else. Dallas, you're going through the summer war cast. Or do you think the team is significantly stronger and bigger than it was, say, last year or year before that? Oh, yeah. And the thing Coach Mack had did was he made us take the four after pitches in January. And he, and he recently took our pitches again this summer. and. And just looking at just looking back at everybody's pictures, you get to see how bigger and like some guys had to lose weight to slim down, and then it just built back up, and you can see all the improvement and everything. Why do you think? What is it about Coach McKeefe that is different from some of the other strength coaches that you've had that everyone's kind of put on about seems like five to seven pounds over the off season? I think it's just that being like um, just like. All the changes that was going through, we was going through, we just really brought in more with him than like any other other strength coaches. We just really brought in, and we we believed in him. He believed in us, and we got the job. Justin, if everybody stressed to you about the the new rule, you scored a few touchdowns. So the celebration rule has that been stressed to you guys? No, I don't think so. I don't think we can celebrate at all. You what? We're not gonna celebrate at all. No, we're not gonna do that either. <laughs> What's well, then you, you, you're you very aware of the rule, then. Yeah, I heard about it. They all, everybody always telling me you can't celebrate, and I just don't, I'm just going to lay the ball down and walk off. All cool. Justin, do, in talking about the, the weight program, trying to do track in the spring as you were going through some of those football workouts, how, how did that how did it go? How difficult was that? I think that was one of the hardest things in my life. Uh, after coming off of uh, track practice and going straight to weightlifting, then running again, it, uh, it puts some pressure on me. Justin, where you do it again? Yeah, I love tracks. Justin, where are you at weight wise? What's your. Uh, 192. Justin, you said you were going to be a leader for this team. What is different about him? You were talking about what he was able to do. How is his philosophy and what he implements different from the previous strength coach? It's like he came in, he came in with a plan, and he told us what he was going to do from Jump Street, and, and he just followed the plan, and we followed along with him. And just seen improvement from it. Has it been more like, I think Coach Dewey was saying it was like more bulk weight that you were lifting and working with instead of rope and stuff. Yeah, that's one thing. Like he pushes, like when we got back to like the basics, he was doing more like Olympic lifts and all that, snatches and cleans and squats. We got back got back to that and and we just seen a lot of improvement from that. Dallas, do you ever notice in pre-game warm-ups, do you ever check out the other team to see what they look like? Nah, not really because the offensive line is like last, the last ones to come out, so when we get out there, the air is rolling. I ain't got time to look at anybody else. Anybody else? All right, we'll have these guys do one-on-ones over here. We've got Malik Jackson to wrap it up.